na naman yung lesson ng grade 6 ratio okay so what is ratio ratio is used to compare two or more quantities with the same units so kailangan parehas yung units okay para ma-compare natin sa ratio okay so ito yung next module advanced module uh, advanced lesson na for the grade 6 so may mga example tayo dito Okay, so this time, na-solve ko na kasi nasira yung video natin mo na. So write a ratio for each of the following. So 10 decimeters to 10 centimeters. Okay, so dito ang unit natin magkaiba. Ito decimeters, ito centimeters. So kailangan natin i-convert tong decimeters para map magkaparehas na sila sa centimeter. Huwag nung kakalimutan na ang 1 decimeter is 10 centimeter. Okay? So, yan yung conversion natin. Dahan-dahan lang para maintindihan nyo. So, ikukumbo na natin yung malaking unit kasi mas malaki ang decimeter kaysa centimeter. So, itatimes lang natin yung conversion natin. 10 times 10 that will become 100 centimeter. Is 2. Ito na yung unit ng ito na yung unit ng kon natin yung uh, ratio and 10 cm copy lang natin yun then pag parehas na sila ng unit okay pwede na natin cancelin yan tanggalin and 100 is 2 pagbasa dito is 2 10 okay then lowest term natin mag isip tayo ng number na makakatibide so number na makakatibide is 10 okay so 100 divided by 10 is 10 and 10 divided by 10 is 1. So, ang ratio natin is 10 is to 1. Ratio can also express in fractions. So, yung ratio, pwede mo rin sabihin na 10, 10 over 1. Okay? Tandaan nyo yun. So, anong, anong ginawa natin? Pinumbert natin kasi dapat same units. Okay? Huwag nyo kakalimutan nyo. Then, pag parehas na sila ng units, then pwede mo na siyang i-lowest term. Kasi, fraction, para siyang fraction eh. Okay? Pwede mo siya i-express yung fraction. So, pwede mo rin siya i-lowest term. Yung number na pwedeng makadivide sa kanilang dalawa. Okay? So, yan yung example natin. Number 1. Okay? Next, number 2. 6 weeks to 12 days. So, ang 1 week is 7 days. So, ikukumbal naman natin kasi hindi magkaparehas yung unit. Ito, weeks ito days okay so ang one week is seven days sa isang linggo may pitong araw okay one week so ita times na natin yung six weeks times seven so magiging 42 okay is two yung 12 na naman kapihin na natin kasi parehas na sila ng unit days na Okay, so yung 42 sa 12, mag-isip tayo ng number na pwede makadivide sa kanilang dalawa, which is 6. Okay, so 42 divided by 6 is 7, 12 divided by 6 is 2. So ang ratio natin is 7 is to 2. Okay, so yan yung pag kuha ng ratio. Kailangan ang tanda nyo unang-una is the same units para ma-compare natin silang dalawa. Okay? So, next. 3 days to 36 hours. So, pag nakikita nyo ito, days, ito hours. So, ikukombo na naman natin yung days kasi ang conversion natin is 1 day is 24 hours. Okay? So, itatimes natin itong day ng 24 Itandaan nyo ay convert nyo yung, yung mas malaki na unit para sa times lang yun. Yan ang shortcut na naman. So, 3 times 24 is 72. Okay? Is 2, yung 36 hours copy kasi parehas na, parehas na silang hours yan. Once na kinumbert pa na yung days sa hours, which is 24 hours, parehas na sila ng unit hours sila. Then, the lowest term ko, inisip ko na kaagad yung mas malaking number na makakadivide sa kanilang dalawa, which is 36, para mabilis. Mabilis kang mag-lowest term. Hindi ka tulad yung 1, para di-divide pa sa prime numbers, matagal. 72 divided by 36 is 2, and 36 divided by 36 is 
one. So the answer is two is two one. Okay. So ganyan yung uh, pag days two hours. Kailangan parehas ang unit. Okay. So punta naman tayo sa number four. Sa so, number four is seconds to six minutes. Okay. So 30 seconds to 6 minutes hindi na naman sila magkaparehas ang unit. So ito 6 minutes ito seconds. Iko-convert natin yung mas malaki which is minutes and we know that 1 minute is 60 seconds. So ito, itatayos mo lang sa 60. So anong unang gagawin mo? Copy mo muna yung 30 kasi hindi mo kinumbert yun. Is 2 so 6 times 60 is 360. Okay. So, dito, lowest na naman natin. Divided by 10, divided by 10. Mag-isip tayo ng number na pwede makadivide sa kanila para ma-lowest So, 30 divided by 10 is 3. 360 divided by 10 is 36. So, mayroon pa pala. So, tuloy pa pag pwede pa, pag lowest term. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 36 divided by 3 is 12. So, divisible by 3. Okay. So, 1 is 2, 12. Yun na yung final answer natin. Okay, naitindihan ba natin? Para at least sa next lesson, kasi ang susunod na lesson natin is ratio and proportion na. So, tuloy-tuloy na to. Parang may connection na ating mga ating turo. Para matutunan yung mabuti. So, ulitin ko yung kinumbert natin, yung minutes, tinimes natin sa 60 6 times 60 is 360. Yung 30, hindi na natin siya kinumbert kasi dapat isa lang yung mas malaki. So, copy lang. Is 2. Pagbasa dito is 2. So, 30 is 2. 360. Tapos, lowest term lang yan hanggang uh, mag-stop ka na pag wala nang makakadivide sa kanilang dalawa. So, answer is 1 is to 2. Ay, 1 is to 12. Okay? So, yan na yung final answer natin. And, Ang huwag makakalimutan, yung fraction is pwedeng i-change sa uh, uh, express in lowest term. Okay? Express in fraction. Yan. So, yan na yung symbol niya. Okay, next, number 5. 24 girls to 18 boys. So, 24 is to 18. So, bakit hindi mo na siya kinumbert? Kasi, tao na siya. Yan naman siya unit. Okay? So, 20 girls and boys so yun na yung ratio niya 24 is to 18 wala na tayong i-convert dyan kasi pag kinumbert mo magiging uh, yung lalaki kinumbert mo magiging bakla na yung girls magiging boys so wala na do not convert okay so pag taong pinag-usapan as it is compare girls to boys so ang ratio ng girls to boys is lowest term natin 24 by 6 is 4 and 18 divided by 6 is 3. Saan ko nakuha yung divided by 6? Yung number na pwede makadivide sa 24 saka 18. Okay? Naintindihan ba natin? So, ganun yung ratio. Tandaan nyo lang yung ratio. Okay? So, ang ratio is, sulitin ko, kailangan, ay, ito ay nagko-compare ng 2 or more quantities. Yung binigay kong ratio is dalawa lang. Pero pwede yung tatlo, pwede yung apat, more quantities, parang 1 is to 2, is to 3, is to 4, pwedeng 4, pwedeng 5, basta more quantities na with same units. So, tandaan nyo, same units. Okay? So, tumutok lang dito para matuto. Learn to love math. Till next time!